Good morning, Man 25 Gamers. In today's Blitz of the Day, we're going to be taking a look at a Blitz out of the 4-3 stack formation. And this is probably one of the easiest Blitzes that we can set up out of the 4-3 stack. Now, the play that we're going to be taking a look at is the 4-3 stack will to fire. And the setup's pretty simple. You're going to base a line, and then you're going to spread your defensive line. Now, personally, I like to use as a middle linebacker, but you don't have to. It's not imperative to the Blitz. And you're going to see here at the snap of the ball, you're going to get pressure out of the left side B-gap. Now, it's not the fastest Blitz. It's not the... It's not the best blitz by any means it's a simple blitz that's effective that you can use in situations to establish some early pressure at your corner at your opponent let him know he's got about four seconds to get rid of the ball and he's not going to have time to go to his uh, fourth and fifth reads um, this blitz is very simple guys uh, Again, just base the line, spread your defensive line, and you're going to be able to get pressure off that right edge. Now, this this blitzing concept does not work from the 4-3 stack all the time um, because of the way the blitz angles are working. So make sure you check out these will to fire blitz angles if you want to apply it to other plays. But also, real quick, um, there's also an advanced setup you can do. Uh, so we have to use base the line, spread our D-line, spread our linebackers. Re-blitz our left outside linebacker after we spread them, crash our D-line down. Quarterback contain our left of screen defensive tackle and quarterback spy our right of screen defensive tackle and our right of screen defensive end. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see we're going to get heavy left edge pressure. It's actually a lot faster and you have a little better coverage out of it. But again, it requires probably, I don't know, probably four or five more adjustments than the first setup. So just know that. But if you guys do want to try it out real quick, let me run through the setup again for that. Um, I like to base a line and press. Spread my defensive line, spread my linebackers. Crash my defensive line down. Globally re-blitz my left of screen linebacker. So this is what it looks like now. Contain this left of screen defensive tackle. And quarterback spy both of the linemen on the right side of the screen. And now at the snap of the ball, you see I'm going to get heavy pressure at the quarterback. My job is that left side seam. So that's an advanced setup and a simple setup. The simple setup is just to base the line and spread your defensive line. And you're going to see you're going to get pressure off that left edge. So that time the center kind of got in the way. I don't know what happened on that, but he just kind of tripped my guy up. I think it has to do with the physics. Yeah, you see there it works fine. So, But that's a simple blitz and then an advanced blitz for today's blitz of the day. So you got a two-for-one deal. Uh, there was a sale on blitzes. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next, uh, actually, we won't see you next week, we'll see you tomorrow morning, uh, back at it with another Blitz of the Day, but this is probably the easiest Blitz out of 4-3 stack to use, be sure to add this to your playbook for situations where you may need to send pressure to your opponent, if you have any questions about the 4-3 stack, or, or need some help in Madden 25, hit me up on my email address, or in the comments below, make sure you follow me on Twitter if you haven't already, if you're new to the YouTube channel and want to get more involved, you can share this video on Twitter and follow me, and I'd really appreciate it, I, I sometimes put some tweets out, uh, about the channel or about Madden in general. So be sure to stay tuned to that. Thanks for watching so much, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.